Here we are, another Basic Bogeys podcast. Obviously, fall is set in, daylight savings time. Not great, especially up here in the north. But uh, The free and worse. Can we just get rid of it? Can we get rid of it, please? Why are we doing this? We did have that a couple 80 degree days already in November. So it's not, hasn't been bad, but it's, I only got out to the Thanks, range a couple times. I was, thank God I didn't try to go out on the course because the swing was not there until I was about to leave the range type of thing. I played Burnett that like $5 yeah, yeah, yeah. par three course you know, because it's like three minutes from my house. Drove down there and I shot like pretty well. Actually, I was like, no, <laughs> still got a baby. <laughs> But we are also at the halfway point of the NFL season. It's crazy that it's already halfway I, over. Because we haven't really talked football fuck, here in a bit. I mean, unless you want to back up, we can talk baseball first. Obviously, you had a much better run on baseball than the Phillies. Okay, all but. right. So you, this whole episode is just you stabbing me in the fucking It's, it's really it's not. Fun. All right. It's really not. No, it's cool. It's cool, TJ. That's if you, you think start, this is the bad do. news, I have other news I'm going to tell you in a little bit that you probably really don't want to hear. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode <laughs> of Basic Bogies. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Fuck. The Bengals no, are not. Start? The Bengals not doing bad. They're they're fighting back. They'll be just fine. Right now we are we are four and five. We just beat the absolute breaks off of. Uh, Vegas, Burrow, uh, 261, five tutties, uh, and not a single one of them was Jamar Chase. I just want to put that out there. Um, Mike, the walking, gritty. Uh, um, <laughs> I saw that. Gasecki. Dude, he caught two. He caught two tuts. Two. Um, Chase Brown, evolving star. Um, Andre uh, um, Igobosi, whatever. I can't even say his last name. We go, I just call him Iggy. Um, yeah, dude, if, if the Bengals were 500 or even like a game or two above it, Joe, Joe Burrow is number one in MVP race right now, 100%. Dude is number one or number two in every passing uh, statistic that there is right now. Front runner is probably Josh Allen, which to his credit, he's a fucking animal. So, yeah, um, yeah but uh, while this is obviously airing, what, today, uh, Bengals got Ravens Thursday night game. We lost to him in overtime after a blunder, so... We got to win six of the next eight games to even have a shot, really, at the wild card. So, I don't know. Yeah, we but played. how many games are they behind the Ravens? It's not a lot, right? It's probably like two games back or something. Well, I mean, right now it's uh, Pittsburgh's leading the division. It's really yeah, between Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Cleveland's even ahead of us right now. We're still, or we're no, we're ahead of Cleveland. Like we're floating, but. I mean, we got some big non-conference games that are coming up, and even some bigger conference games. I mean, we can st- if we can split with Baltimore, then I'm starting to feel pretty good right now with our offense. Our offense is oh, that's vicious. not the problem. Yeah, it's it, the defense. But. Yeah, no, our defense couldn't stop you know Whitesboro High School right now. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awful. <laughs> but um, I know and we got Philly in a couple weeks. So, what that was uh, a couple weeks ago, we beat you guys. Or no, that was last. That was like. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Recently, it was so. close though. That was that was championship day, so I wasn't watching. But I so I saw before we went on to perform, and I was like, oh, oh, ten ten at half, and then we had the fucking run of our lives, won the state championship, and then I saw the score after. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. I didn't watch any yeah, of that no, game so though. I was send me. Yeah, <laughs> for for good cause, but um, yeah, you know, Bengals, they're they're. Uh, they're fighting. They're there. We'll we'll see what happens. Um, a healthy Joe Burrow is somebody you can't count out. So uh, Philly, for the most part, though, I mean Philly's, you know that. I'll, They're pulling I'll, out wins, uh, but it's not been pretty. We finally this past week was I mean, the first time we scored in the first quarter all season long, and we're what six and two, and we that was the first time we scored in the first quarter. Say that again. This past week, week nine, was the first time the Eagles scored in the first quarter all season long. <laughs> That's nuts. Because the offense has been struggling. Lately, they've been getting hotter. And they, they come out in the second half. In, in quarters two through four, they have like the highest score differential in the league. Yeah, I know. That makes sense. Yeah. But it's um, like, again, they were you think huge. That? And then it's like the defense struggles. And we just we let mm-hmm. teams get back. We're just playing to the yeah. level of our opponents constantly. And it's, Dude, what did you think about that... Uh, Reverse hurdle that save point. I was insane. I've been around. 
I know we've been around sports and we've seen obviously some as as a Bengals fan, like Jermaine Gresham had that front flip into the end zone, you know, he's a tight end. He's I was like, Well, that's the coolest thing I'll ever see. And then Saquon hits him with a spin move, bounces off of a block, sees the guy coming full speed and goes, I'm just gonna jump up and put my ass over his head <laughs> reverse. I've never seen I've it never was seen just it. Like, like how do you think? Yeah, yeah. It's like he was like trying to do another spin move and then like I don't know, his leg just like fucking shot him off the ground. <laughs> Dude, there's uh I think the Eagles posted a TikTok of like of the bench when when you impress the best athletes in the world and it shows that their whole bench it oh shows, yeah, like, yeah. it was it was different clips of them yeah and they were like oh my yeah, like blank and ship is like, like holy <laughs> shit <laughs> bro it's just it's incredible and also and even the guys in the field yeah but just uh, like it's just crazy that it's like man if like new york fucked him over and now he's just Bro. on the revenge tour. The, <laughs> the, the, the Pat Bev, the belt to ass tour. I don't know if you want to listen to the Pat Bev pod. It's the belt oh, to I, ass I, tour. I <laughs> my my favorite meme I've seen so far is, uh, well, actually there was two and they're both with the Giants. One was like, man, the Giants could really use a guy like Saquon Barkley right now. You know, it'd just be kind of nuts. Um, and then the other one I saw that uh, it had to do with obviously the um, the election and voting and stuff. But uh, Daniel Jones, I guess, during a meeting, Daniel Jones said something like, oh, yeah, I don't vote. And Malik Neighbors stood up and he goes, what? So your decision making is even worse off or is just as bad <laughs> off the field as it is on. And I guess the whole team laughed and even like Jones did. And I was like, <laughs> Malik Neighbors, number one guy in my book right now. Yeah, I said that that one stat I sent you was crazy. Where the two Kansas City Super Bowls between his last two passing touchdowns in the medal insane, insane, crazy. Oh, but you know, both of our teams are flowing. I think I think Eagles are. You're probably what you're going to win your division. Uh, sure. We. It, it's uh, what's well, tough because the commanders are so damn good right now. They're, they're up the half games. They oh, haven't had the, the bye week yet. Yeah. But um, you still have a showdown with them, though, too, right? Is that this week? No, a Cowboys this week. Dax out. And then we no, have Cowboys this week with uh, we have fucking rush. Yeah. Next Thursday night is the yeah. commanders matchup. And then we have them again. Like, oh, week so 17. A, we're on a short week and then you're on a short. Week. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Which is tough. Like, that's nice. a tough going division rival to division rival that's at least like yeah. not having Dak is going to make a i mean the cowboys are rough anyways but that at least like yeah. the load a little Dude, that, um, when uh the Bengals played washington we we ultimately lost because daniels threw that um amazing touchdown to uh uh god mclaren or not mclaren what's it who's the wide receiver for washington i don't know i don't been there him. forever I, don't McCle- know. I can't remember. I'm so McClare? sorry. Um, I know. I like. I know what you're huh? talking about. I don't know his name. Yeah. I don't, I don't watch Jeremy him enough. Something. Um, it was the first game in NFL in the NFL since like 1940 or 1950 where there was no turnovers and no punts from both sides of the field. Like, and and it was a sh- it was a shootout. But I watched these two guys. You know, I, I obviously I'm a Burrow guy and LSU dude, but dude. That Daniels guy is no fucking joke. That yeah. he looks like he's been in the league for ten years. He's so comfortable, even when it's crunch time. Like, dude, he just oh, that's and that's a nasty defense I got over there. That is no joke. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.